Oh my god. <laughs> Jen's got it. Jen's How have they done that? I don't know. <gasps> How do you do? That is so <gasps> sweet. Look at the little dog, dog in the window. That's brilliant. My oh, goodness. Okay. Don't, there's too much to look at. The little sign on the house. Like ginger. It's just like being there. Oh my goodness. Wowzers. It feels really different. It, it does. Time. I don't know where the quilt is, the spiral style. No. Well, well, which but... way do we start? Oh, there's too much. I love Welsh quilts, don't you? <laughs> yeah. Like. Oh, look at those. Just, just that corner. So we arrived about. 2am in Wales, we drove, didn't we, yesterday? Yes. In the um, rain. <laughs> because we got, we wanted to see this exhibition um, of what, what Jen Jones has done at the Welsh Quilt Centre this year. And obviously we wanted to share it with you guys. So they've given us the whole day um, exclusive access to the gallery. And we're going to show you some of these quilts. We've got all day to take it in. Yeah. Oh, the Welsh dragon quilt's here. Oh, it is. Oh, it's so nice to see it up. You can really see the design on it now, can't you? Yeah, we didn't share that one last time in yeah. the workshop, but we had a sneaky peek of we it, did. didn't we? Um, what else? I mean, they're just a lot of the flannels. Yeah, that were inspiration, weren't they, for, for our quilts? Yeah, but, but we didn't we get to see them. them. No. They were in storage. And we know somewhere, yeah, that the one that was our main inspiration is in here somewhere, but we don't know where it is, do yeah, we? So... It was sent off to be um, conserved, wasn't yes, it? Yes, yeah. Because um, they just, it had just, Jen Jones had just got it last time. Yeah. And they were kind of deciding what to do with it, weren't they? Yeah. We fell for it because of the colours and the design. Yeah. Um, but it's in this show somewhere. Oh, the, the little gate. <gasps> it's Pom Pom the Duck. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> So we, if you oh, remember, we fell in love with pom poms. Because here. one of Jen's ducks got that big fluffy head. I mean, we don't have many quilt shows either, do we? No. There's not a single dedicated quilt gallery no. in the whole of the UK no. except the Welsh Quilt Centre. This is the only chance, really. Yeah. You know, we have to see get. them up like this. Yes. Yeah. Because even like you said, like we saw that on a bed yeah. last year, but you couldn't see the detail as well as you can there and seeing them up and displayed is so different anyway isn't it yeah and it's just... kind of it is part of our heritage quilting mm. here but we just we just don't we don't celebrate it enough do no. we when you no. come here and see all this it's beautiful isn't it it's so special isn't it yeah are we allowed to wow. carry on chris <laughs> i think we should work our way around okay <laughs> come on so there's obviously a lot of turkey red and it's so red, some of it, isn't it? And the pears, well, kind of pears. Kind of pears, and they look like pansies, don't they? I mean, the, the hand quilting in here is the thing that just not, pops out, doesn't it? Yeah. As well, right? Yeah. Maybe we can sleep, stay overnight, <laughs> just <laughs> move into one of these beds. I but love this is this. that's brilliant. That is so clever. And the little crest, yeah. From so well, by royal appointment to who was the Prince, Prince of, of Wales, Wales but he's yeah. obviously now the King. Yeah. So he has visited this cottage in real life, hasn't he? Has. He? he has. With Camilla to buy his Welsh quilts. Oh, even that one look on the bench. Oh, that's beautiful. That's gorgeous. Strippy. Look at that. I know. Like the, Now these are... Oh, that's the Valerie Ann. Yes, because these are the colours, aren't they? That Valerie Ann has in a lot of her... Yeah, that, that one. The, is, it, is this the firecracker? I don't know. I think is the firecracker not a bigger or brown? But that bigger that central. It's that design, isn't it? In the my head, glass. it was. Yeah. I don't know. We'll have to find Crazy out. Crazy sawtooth. That's cool. That's unusual around the edge, isn't it? Pom poms. It's all Crazy like bar. by well, it's like is it? I think it looks like bias binding. Now oh, that's that's one of the ones. And I like the, the navy. blue. The blue is amazing, isn't it? Like maybe you won't pick up that on a photograph. I don't think you would. 
But again, wow. the quilting is stunning, isn't it? All those spirals. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that, that really red. pops out, that blue. Can that though? Yeah. And then the dark, like black, almost black quilting. It is, isn't Quite it? Quite a statement, isn't it? Yeah. Also stunning, Oh, isn't now it? we saw that. Yes. Gems. Yeah, we did. Didn't we? Yeah, the blue and red. Because that's quite sophisticated in a way, don't you think? Yeah, well, the, yeah. The quilting. The quilting on that is, yeah. That's nuts. Look at the green on that, though. <laughs> <laughs> Valerie Ann's painted that, I'm sure. It's so turquoise in the middle. They look like wool, don't they? More than mm. flannel. Oh, that looks like velvet. That look, I was going to say from the here, that looks velvety. Some of Taylor's scraps, do you think? Maybe. Again? Brown around the star, yeah, or maybe yeah, a bit. Well, it does look it compared to the right hand side, which looks okay. Patch. So that's got a patch in the top, yeah, because some have been repaired and some have been conserved, haven't they? Find I mean, out. probably most of these Jen Jones has found in a bin liner, in a stable, or yeah. in an old barn somewhere, hasn't she? In rural yeah. Wales, really, yeah. these these flannels. Yeah. Can you imagine if someone said, oh, I've got this... Uh, I've thrown this out. Yeah, not sure what to do with this old thing. <laughs> but they would look, you know, you can even see on that, like quite dusty and yeah. they could look quite raggedy to an untrained eye, couldn't they? Yeah. And yes. they, then they went, they, well, they went out of fashion, I guess, didn't they? Yeah. Oh, that one's quite different, isn't it? Gorgeous. Like a bath, though, like the stripes. Very Amish, doesn't it? Does, it does, yeah. Now that we know. Mm. And they're like the nice leaves that we've yep. got in our big, design. Yeah, that big one in the corner really stands out, doesn't it? That stripe's great, isn't it? It's a, it's a shame you can't always, you can't see them all two-sided, yes. isn't it? Yes, yeah. So you can see. Wonder what's on the back. Yeah. Oh, that's kind of like a crazy Victorian, but a bit log cabiny. Mm. There was one last time, wasn't yeah. there? Sure. Mm -hmm. That's unusual, isn't Real it? Yeah, that's cool. It's not. It's, there's a lot of detail in there, isn't there? That drew my eye straight away in the middle. That flower. Yeah, it looks like a bit of a quilt or an oh, outfit. Yeah, or it does. It? Yeah, a lot of velvet, isn't there? But nice. Like I don't always like a lot of these crazy Victorian type. No, it, there's a bit out. of order to it, isn't there? I think. I don't know. It's, it just has that Welsh charm yeah. still. Like the difference in scale, I think. I like think it's that yeah. Big, it just still feels like it's got that folk. Well, I think as well because it? actually it's squares, yeah, isn't it? I mean, you know, within each square there's something a bit bonkers, but mm. there's a little bit of order to it. Whereas I think some of those crazy Victorian are so overlappy, it gets or a bit overwhelming. The decorative stitching on top, they yeah. can sometimes be a bit whoa. Well, yeah, still feels like it's about the colour and the shape. It bit, does. Doesn't it? There's more. There's more. It's like, keep looking at me. Has <laughs> that star drawn you in? Oh, oh it's here. Right, let's it's not see look. It. Well, I will look in. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Oh, but that's so beautiful. It look is. It's not pieced. Is it appliqued on? I think Isn't it, it is. It does look like it's one piece of the star, the star doesn't is. it? Oh, yeah, it's machine stitch, maybe even. Really? Oh, that's so sweet. I like that because it's like twill and things, isn't it? it and is. linens, maybe? Don't know, just the texture of the cloth. Looks quite, and like that little stripe behind the red. It looks like some pieces, I don't know if they're just standing out because, but like that orange in the top looks like it's on top again. Yeah. And maybe the green, it's been maybe it's bit, yeah, maybe. Patched. Patched because some of those pieces look like the, I mean, it all works, doesn't it? It's up, it's up. So this is the one. This was the inspiration, wasn't it? The main inspiration. And it's been to the um, 
restorer, hasn't it? Is that right? I think possibly the conservator. Conservator. Yeah, because I think it was maybe too delicate to restore, so bits of it have been conserved. So, so cleaned, cleaned and a bit of stabilisation. Yeah, maybe a bit of netting or some, but it's not obviously it's standing not out, is it? So, But it was proper dust. It hadn't even had a wash when no. we saw it, had we? No. So the colours, I mean, that blue still was amazing. Yeah. Even when it was dirty, but it's gorgeous. It, it is. It's kind of royally. That bit of like gingham. Yeah. And the purple. And the reds that really pop out. Because Jen wasn't sure about the brown, I, I seem to remember. Mm. But now everything else has been lifted. Yeah. Like I think I felt like that stood out a bit more last time. Yeah, Did this you? piece, yeah. yeah. But and now like, it doesn't. I'd forgotten about these different colours on the opposites. Yeah, that looks really silky. Yeah. And then that's really what, like... Quite tweedy. Mm. Yeah. Could be in Scotland. Bit of corduroy look. Black and white, Kayford like that. Brandon, isn't there? The wood. Pop of... Like you say, that tiny bit of gingham is amazing. It's the only one, is it? I think so, yeah. Yeah, it is. But I think out of people who've made this, our quilt, they've put in just little quirky bits yeah. themselves, haven't they? Yeah. Like, there's the lady who's done the porcelain dogs. dogs and, yeah. And just little bits of something. Which I think we need to, we'll come back. Okay. <laughs> but let's see what else, there's too much to see. Oh, and the hat, Jenny. Yeah. Nice little haberdashery corner. That's a nice little That's crazy lovely. patchwork. I like the prints, different printed fabrics. They're really pretty, aren't they? Oh, I wonder if this is one that was like, um, they'd used the, the salesperson's book. The thing is, because if you look, you've got the repeated colourways of the same fabric there and there. So you know, yeah. like what they said, didn't they? Those sample books. Yeah, like a swatch a book. A swatch book. And like with the patchworks last time you know there's still like the quilting goes beyond the lines doesn't Does. it but there's still a heck of a lot of hand quilting in there oh yeah yeah that you can hardly register really but the, the still certain top, lights isn't it yeah. then you catch it and not but there'll be a pattern won't there yeah oh that looks in need of a bit of tlc yeah in the pleat oh look at the the, wash the washboards but we did see Jen did have that we big did. bathtub yeah. and that big washing line with the ducks in the garden. Yeah, where they actually, where yeah. she did a lot of the work on the quilts, because I guess... And hang them out get, to dry. Yeah, things in all conditions, don't they? In a proper area. Well, I like she move said, in. I know, Got do a bit of work, <laughs> have a bath, have a, bath. <laughs> have a bed. You just need a kettle. <laughs> The quilting on this one's fab. Spirals, spirals. Lots of spirals, but spirals in a formation. Mm -hmm. That looks like it's got a like maybe a good bit of batting in it, doesn't it? Yeah. Quite poofy. But still this the butted edge. Yeah. Binding. No binding. No. Oh now that's interesting, like a strippy. Single bed strippy. Yeah. Yeah. Floral patchwork with red paisley. Okay. And Art Nouveau. Yeah, you can see those big, yeah. like those sinuousy curves, can't yes. you, and florals that look yeah. a bit like that period. And then a strippy but with, patterned yeah. rather than plain. That's a pretty fabric. But that's, that's quite a good example, actually, isn't it, of how they're really not... The quilting. Yeah. Yeah. Well, there is actually, they are kind of staying within the lines, aren't they? There's a big diamond there in the centre. And but, they're central but, too, but, yeah. but not to each strip. No, which you'd get in an English strip, wouldn't you? Yeah. Each, 
each strip would have a section of quilting that doesn't, but like I say, well, even that centre part goes over the two yeah. bands, and then that doesn't, one does, it? doesn't it? Yeah. Really? So, so quite different to an English strippy quilt, isn't yeah. it? But nice with a pattern. Really nice. Quilting's amazing, nice. isn't it? Just thrown in the Oh, a whole cloth just. Leaves and flowers. Hearts. I like the contrast between the dense quilting on these big bits and then how those sections kind of puff out, don't they? Look cosy. Yeah. Another pretty patchwork. Yeah. They're never too complex, are they? Like the piecing. No. Don't, I don't feel. No. Like looks like could have just started. Like they've just started just, out with yeah, medallion the style and then just yeah. keep adding growing. some borders. I like the quilting in this border here. You can see that. Like a braid, isn't yeah. It? And then some nice just cross hatchy as well mm. to fill areas. Mm. That looks like it's had a bit of damage, doesn't it? Yeah. Just the colours and things. I mean interesting in it how they look how, after them all yeah but still some of these reds are so vibrant still aren't they yeah what did oh yeah at the at St Fagans she said didn't she it was like a protective colour yeah ox blood red yeah or what have you and the turkey red to ward off bad things mm. and illness and stuff you dressed very appropriately, I have to say. I am a bit well. She did very well. <laughs> have you whipped that up yourself? No. <laughs> Money pennies and more incredible hand quilting. Oh, yeah. That looks a bit Liberty esque. It does, doesn't, doesn't it? it? It's really different, isn't it? There's the tulips and hyacinths. Hyacinths. Are they? Yeah. Quite big stitching on that. Yeah. Makes me feel slightly better. <laughs> About your own quilting. Yeah. <laughs> All the little hearts. You could imagine maybe it as a wedding quilt, could you? Mm. Possibly. Yeah. Lovely soft tones. Pussy cutting, like this how these bars are coming in all the way around these accents oh, yeah. of stripe is just the fabric isn't it? It is, yeah. Mm. And the dragon. dragon. The dragon. So from what I remember this was a quilt that was for the Ice Deadford wasn't it? Yeah. A winner, possibly. Yes. So, like a showpiece competition quilt yeah. for the Welsh Cultural Festival. So, lots of Welsh symbols yeah. in there. The harps. Harps in the corners. They're really, yeah, really striking, aren't they? Yeah. And the dragon at the centre. It's beautiful. It is. I love how you can see it so clearly here. Yeah. Those flowers in the board around the dragon, like it looks quite doodly. It does. Like really modern, doesn't yeah. it? Like they were having fun. Yeah, like flowers that have got circly tops and yeah. then, yeah. It's really sweet. Do you think that's like a violin kind of fiddly oh, yeah, thing is, at the yeah. bottom? In the centre? Yeah, in the centre, like on each side. Yeah, because it's a musical yeah. festival, isn't it, yeah. as well? Yeah. You yeah. can't imagine, well you don't know what to imagine before you come do you, because it's it's so clever how they transform this space, just one big room isn't it, yeah. yet it couldn't be any more different to what we saw last year could it? No. Like it's so cleverly done. And I don't think many of these quilts have ever been seen. No, I think Hazel said maybe one yeah. has been out on display before but the rest it's all first time for the public. I think she needs a knighthood, Jen. Jo. She does. It's just <laughs> amazing. For bringing all this and saving all this history and culture. We're very lucky. <laughs> <laughs>